did he actually lie to you? No, I'm, now I'm talking about your trial here. I lied on several things. And when you say several things, Mr. Durst, uh, would you agree that several is more likely many? I would say five. He throws the number out, five. I would suggest to you, he underestimated a bit. But did he lie to you? Yes, he actually lied to you. It's up to you to figure out what he lied about and what he didn't lie about. How difficult of a job is that going to be? Look, this clip I'm about to play tells it all. How are we supposed to figure out when you're lying and when you're telling the truth? I don't know. He can't figure out himself when he's lying. Yet he expects you all to figure it out? Come on, use your common sense. This case from the defense perspective, the people have proven this case beyond any reasonable doubt. The defendant chose to get up there and defend himself and tell you his side of the story. His personal choice. But you gotta evaluate the credibility of the person who got up there and told you that story. Look, he's admitted he lies about things. So when it comes to his innocence and saying things that are helpful to himself, I'm not saying he didn't let the truth slip once in a while while he's on the stand. We're gonna talk about that throughout this argument. But when it comes to taking the stand and trying to help himself. Can you trust him when he's admitted to you he lied and you know that he's lied to you about many things and you know they're important things and you know that they would be the things that involve the central issues in this case. Can you trust him? Let me ask you this. Say you go to a restaurant and you order a bowl of soup and your soup comes. This is gonna be a little gross but I think it, it adequately illustrates this point. And your soup comes, and this is what you find in it. Do you just pick out that bug, that cockroach, toss it aside, and say, you know what? I'm just going to finish this soup. I'm just going to eat it all up. I'm going to take it in. The cockroach is gone. This soup is not tainted. This soup is not infected. No, you're not going to do that. You're going to send the soup back. You're going to want a new bowl. You're probably not going to eat at that restaurant anymore because you can't tell which part of that soup is tainted and which part of that soup is not tainted. It's all infected with lies. But it's worse in this case. Again, this is gross, but it illustrates the point. This is what he served you. This is what was served to you. Literally, you were served a bowl of cockroaches and you were told, you pick out which ones are bad and which ones are good. You toss them aside, but you can trust the rest of that soup. Go ahead and eat it up. Lap it up. Use your common sense. You are selected because you're intelligent. You are selected because you have life experiences. You are, you are selected because you can determine the truth. And you decide what's true and what's not. 